Hey guys, we're starting here, and today I'm bringing a brand new video. In this video, guys, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about why I switched back to Black Ops 3. So let's get right into it. All right, so let me get right into it. I'm gonna break it down for you guys right now. So basically, I'm uh, the reason I switched back to Black Ops 3 is more is because it's just more fun than Infinite Warfare. Like for me, the guns are balanced and it's not really overpowered or anything. Yeah, the jetpack thing is really annoying, but honestly, I've just kind of dealt with it at this point. And I do like it in Black Ops 3. It's not that bad. And it's, the system's kind of similar in Infinite Warfare, but Black Ops 3 is just kind of better for me when I play it. Uh, I don't know, just like the the running and stuff, like the grappling and when uh, the player mantles on the stuff, it's just easier for me and overall Black Ops 3 with the jetpack is just better than Infinite Warfare for me. Also, like I said, the guns are really balanced, like I've never been in a gunfight where like I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose like 9 out of 10 because that guy has that gun or something like that. Yeah, some guns are better than others, but they're not overpowered. Like, they're still pretty balanced. Like, you can use a KN and like versus a Cooter or something. Like, those are pretty two guns. Those are two guns that I really like right now. Um, and, like, the, you'll still win a gunfighter. Cuda versus Razorback. Uh, Razorback versus VMP. VMP versus Vesper. Like, there's just, like, so many guns that you can either, no matter what you really use, you can still do good with it if you're good at it. So the second thing is the colors. Honestly, the colors are like really what makes the game versus the along with the maps. And the maps are really made through the colors. So if you guys look at Black Ops 3, the colors are just so much better. Like Nuketown is just so much more brighter, more, you know, like, app not appetizing, but really like just more intriguing to look at and watch as you play. Like if you look at Infinite Warfare, they're really dark and dull and just kind of gives you like an eerie, scary like type of feeling. Like, you know, like it's kind of nasty. Like if you guys look back at Call of Duty Ghost, that game actually had bad colors too. Like honestly, I love Call of Duty Ghost. Like, hey, sue me for saying that, but that game was actually really fun. And the only thing that I thought could have made it better was the colors. The colors were just garbage on it. If the colors were great, great potential, that game would have so many people are still playing it to this day because it was the last boots on the ground game. Honestly, it's just also it's just a better game in general. Like everything that Infinite Warfare has is pretty much in Black Ops 3, but it's just the original. Like you know, like when you go to Walmart, you're not always gonna get the Walmart brand, or you're not gonna get the public brand. You sometimes want the name brand stuff. Like that's what Black Ops 3 was. It's the original stuff. It's not the knockoff. Infinite Warfare is pretty much the knockoff of Black Ops 3, and overall infinite warfare just doesn't have as good guns and stuff and they like i don't know just seems like good not that app like fun to me and the only gun that i might even consider is probably the intervention and that's because the intervention is the intervention like if it wasn't there i wouldn't have even probably bought the gun uh, the game and like most people like me bought the game because mwr which brings me to the next point MDR, mwr is still a great game and that's really what i've been playing so you guys are in my live streams then like you guys know that i've been playing mwr black ops 3 h1 minecraft stuff like that i kind of like change it up and that's really been i've been playing i haven't really been playing infinite warfare because every time i play it like if you see me rage on black ops 3 i rage so much harder on infinite warfare just because like I can't do anything like on Infinite Warfare or not Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3. I can definitely go into a game, get 60 kills, 70 kills. Once I'm like you know high, like uh, warmed up and stuff. Infinite Warfare, I'll warm up for like two, three hours, bro, and like I won't even like get 30 kills. Like the game is just not. I'm not good at it, and like I don't know. It's just so hard for me to level up and. I've never had fun playing it. Like, I gave it a shot. I didn't like it. Like, I know some people didn't even play it yet. They never even gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I didn't like it personally. The game could have been so much better. Um, hopefully, Infinite uh, Infinity Ward knows what they did wrong, and they can come back to it the next time their Call of Duty comes around. Hopefully, Sledgehammer knows what they did wrong, and they know what to do right now. And... You know, they, we get a good Call of Duty next year, week, year. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment on what you guys thought. Subscribe if you're new. I'm bringing you guys an awesome video too. Not tomorrow, the next day, because I have some cool ideas for videos coming through. I'll tell you guys again. Peace. Hey, mama told me hey, not to sell work. Mama, 17, 5, same color t-shirt.